Hey gang, Matt Peterson from Remora Marine and Fast Bottoms Hole Diving here. Some of you have asked to see the Remora cleaning a more heavily fouled bottom than on uh, the boats and some of the videos I've shown you previously. So today we're going to clean an older Ericsson 35 with anti-fouling paint that is in fair to poor condition. We'll see plenty of thick slime with black algae under that and uh, some three-dimensional growth including some barnacles and mussels. So let's get in the water, get the remora fired up, and get to work. So we're starting on the rudder. I've set the speed controller at about 1.5 and I'm using a number two brush here and you can see that uh, Remora just cruises right through this thick algae and the, I mean thick slime and the uh, black algae underneath with um, very little effort on my part just driving it around and Remora does all the work Okay, now we're on the water line, and I've turned the machine up to about two on the speed controller. And on this boat, you'll see that the uh, bootstripe has some heavy moss um, growing on it. Probably could use uh, some steel wool on that. But uh, the thick slime, even on spots where the anti-fouling paint has been scrubbed away over the years, you can see Remora just cleans them up just right now. No problem. So water line's cleaning up beautifully. So below the waterline here, you can see how thick the growth is. Uh, the slime is flying off in big pieces, and, and you see um, the three-dimensional fouling coming off as well. Uh, Remora goes right through it very easily, requiring very little effort on my part. Remora creates its own downforce, and the faster you spin the machine up, the greater that downforce and, and the greater the cleaning. Um, pressure is so I don't have to do anything to hold the machine against the hull it's doing it itself all I do is drive it around the dirty places and scrub that growth off now you'll see we're gonna get down to the uh, knot meter impeller here in a minute and it's pretty gummed up you can drive uh, the remora right on top of through holes or transducers like this one and in this case um, in the knot meter with the knot meter impeller you can really get those blades spinning to fling off anything that's growing on there this one unfortunately is going to require a little extra attention so I'll park the remora here and uh, hit it with the wire brush a little bit to to get the stuff that's growing inside of there out remora has adjustable buoyancy so you can make it as positive or negative as you like. I like it to be a little positive so I can park it against the bottom of the boat or the bottom of the keel when I have to do something like this and it just stays there. I don't have to hang on to it. I can free up a hand or both hands to use another tool. The pause, there's a pause button so I stop it from rotating then I just park it where I want it to be. When I'm done grab it, hit the pause button again and uh, go back to work.
So now we're down here on the keel, and uh, I've got uh, a lot of black algae here, and you know how tough it is to scrub that stuff out by hand. Um, remora, it's no harder to remove black algae with remora than it is to clean a lightly fouled boat. It, the, the effort on the diver's part is exactly the same, which is to say very little. So, um, we're going right through it here like a hot knife through butter, I like to say. Um, on the bottom of the kill, you're going to see there's some shelled animal growth, and Remora, while not designed to do it, is actually going to take some of it off here. Right here, it, it just knocked off a, um, a patch of uh, mussels. Now back towards the, the back of the keel, there's some thicker uh, patches of barnacles and mussels. So I'm going to stop the remora, I'm going to park it, and I'll get out my uh, wire brush scraper here and, uh, and remove that stuff. So again, remora is not designed to remove shelled animal growth. So in places where you're using a scraper now, you're still going to need to use a scraper for the most part uh, once you start using remora. Remora has a wide variety of brushes available, from very soft to very stiff. This means it can handle pretty much any fouling conditions on any anti-fouling paint. Combine that with a battery that can typically get you through an entire day's work without needing to be recharged, and the Remora Solo is nothing short of a game changer for the whole cleaning industry. Using Remora Solo, you'll clean boats faster, with less effort, and more consistency than doing it the old-fashioned way, by hand. This means you'll clean more boats in a day, and put more money in your pocket. An additional benefit, especially if you've been in this game for a long time like I have, is that because Remora Solo is doing the work, I no longer have arthritis or tendonitis pain in my shoulders. I don't even take my arthritis medication anymore. I know a lot of you guys out there can relate to that. Not only do I earn more money using the Remora, but my job is more enjoyable as well. So come check us out at www.remoramarine.com and see what tools and accessories are available how to order or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and dive safe.